Hello there everyone, it's Rob here, Rob Bidolf. There's a little picture of me there, so you know what I look like. Now you might know me from writing books like this one, Odd Dog Out, I drew the pictures too, and this, it's all about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs maybe you've seen. This one called Show and Tell. Now this one is all about a class of school children. Here's some of them here, and they all bring in something to show the rest of the class on Show and Tell Day, but they all try to outdo each other by bringing in something even more crazy and outlandish than the person before. One of my favorite things that they bring in to class is this racing car. Can you see this? This is Rebecca, she brings in an alligator. But look, Quinn here, he brings in a racing car. Now, the reason I like this so much is because I had a really good time drawing this racing car. It turns out that I really, really like drawing them. So do you know what? Today, I thought I would draw a picture of a racing car with you guys. Does that sound like a good plan? It's jolly good. Now then, the reason I also want you to draw, there's another reason I want to draw a racing car is because my friends at Envision Virgin Racing have asked me to show you how to draw a racing car. The reason they've asked me is because the cars they make are for something called Formula E. Formula E, and the E stands for electric because all of the cars that they make are electric cars. They're powered totally by electricity. The reason that they do that is because they're very interested in protecting the environment. And electric cars are much better for the environment than regular cars. And we all need to protect our planet against climate change, don't we? So I thought it was a really good thing to do. So we are going to actually be drawing an electric racing car for you today. Now, I'm assuming some of you have seen my videos before, but just in case you haven't, this is how it works, okay? I have my piece of paper in front of me here and I'm going to do a little tiny bit of the drawing on my piece of paper. Then what I want you to do is when I've done that, you pause your video and you copy what I did, just that little bit of drawing that I did. Then you can start your video again. I'll do a bit more drawing. You draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw. And at the end, we're all going to end up with something. I think we'll be surprised at how good it is actually because that's the way it works even if you don't think you're good at drawing if you do it a little tiny bit at a time you can always end up with something that you really like okay so we are going to draw our formula e racing car so what i want you to do is grab a piece of paper and a pen we're going to need something to color with a bit later on but for the time being all you need is a pencil a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper and what i want you to do is we're going to start sort of in the middle to the right of your piece of paper. We are gonna start by drawing a lovely circle. About that sort of size, okay? A nice and easy start. And then we're gonna draw another one. We're gonna, I don't know, maybe sort of that distance. So the distance between your big finger and your little finger, we're going to draw another circle. Exactly the same size, if you can, like that. Okay, so a nice easy start. Can you guess which bit of the racing car this is? That's right, it's the wheels. The next thing I want you to do, we are gonna draw a slightly smaller circle inside that first circle that we drew. Just like that, okay? Guess what? We're gonna do exactly the same here. So just a little bit smaller. And these are gonna be our tires. The next thing to do is the middle of our wheels. So right in the center of this circle or these two circles here, we're gonna draw a really tiny circle. We're gonna do the same there. And then coming out of those tiny circles, let's draw some lines. And these are gonna be the spokes of our racing car wheels. So however many you want, you can do lots and lots if you want. I've done six there. Don't know why, I just thought six was a nice number of spokes to have on this particular racing car. And then we do exactly the same on the other wheel. There we go. And we can see our car is already starting to take shape, isn't it? Okay, the next thing to do, we're gonna do a line in between these two wheels, as straight a line as you can, doesn't matter if it goes a bit wobbly, but as straight a line as you can between the two wheels. And we're gonna do them quite 
low down on the wheels. Sometimes, I think when I usually draw cars, I always want to sort of do the line in the middle of the wheels like that, but because this is a racing car, it's much lower down, nearer the ground. So our line has got to be quite near the ground, okay? And this is gonna be sort of, this part of the car is called the chassis, this part that we're drawing now. Um, and I think what we'll do actually, we're gonna draw the front wing of the car. So what we need to do, we need to imagine this line goes all the way through that wheel and carries on out the other side. And we're gonna to go to about there, somewhere like that. So maybe an inch or two ahead of this wheel, because we're gonna do our car facing that way. I think it's gonna be driving to the left. So this is the front, the front wing of the car. Okay, now what I want you to do is put our pen on the end of that line we just finished drawing and we're going, to, we're going to go up in a little sort of diagonal line just a little way a tiny little way like that then we're going to go up in a tiny little vertical line just like that and now this is the fun bit because we are going to go around this wheel here that we drew in a nice sort of nice sort of smooth curve we're going to go all the way around and we're going to join up and about there, sort of halfway down our line. So a nice sort of curve all the way around. Because I think all of the lines on racing cars are all sort of very smooth, very aerodynamic to make the cars move through the air as quick as they can. Okay, right, the next thing to do is, about halfway down this smooth curve that we drew here, we're gonna draw another straight line to about there. We're gonna leave a bit of a gap here because we need to draw the rear wing of our car, don't we? And this is how we're gonna do that. We're gonna go from this point, we've gone straight across, then we're gonna go up in a diagonal line to about there, okay? Because the backs of racing cars tend to be higher than the front, so they can really whip around the track. Okay, then we're gonna do another straight line. There's lots of straight lines in this drawing, actually. Straight line that comes out the back, goes about the same distance we went ahead of that wheel, behind the wheel, up to about there, okay? And then what we will do, we're gonna join the end of that line up with our tire in a nice diagonal line. So we make a very sharp point here, which is gonna be the rear wing of our racing car. Wow, it really is starting to look like a racing car now, isn't it? And we've only really done a couple of circles and a few sort of lines and it's already really taken shape. I think this is always very exciting when you can start to see a drawing emerge from nothing. Okay, let's carry on with the back of our car, I think. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do another straight line. It's gonna run parallel with this line. Now, parallel means it goes in the same direction. So it goes in the same direction, but it's about half as long, okay? And then when we've done that, we're gonna come down here back towards our tire. We're gonna stop about the same distance up from the ground as this line here. And then do you know what? We're just gonna join it up like that. So that's another part of the rear wing of the car. Okay, now then, let's add the rear light. So the rear light, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a straight line that goes there. It's gonna stop because it's gonna be interrupted by this shape but then it's gonna carry on straight out like that. We're gonna go down and then we're gonna come in like that. And it's gonna be like the rear light area of our racing car. Okay, now then. Let's go back to the front of our car, I think, because we're gonna add the nose, the nose of the car, the nose cone of the car, okay? And this is how we do that. Just above where this point is here, we're gonna draw probably about halfway up that diagonal line. We're just gonna draw another straight line out to about there. And then we're gonna add a nice sort of pointy shape that joins up there. And that's gonna be the front of our car. Okay, so that is the main body of our car. We've done the chassis, we've done the wings, we've done the wheels. But now we need to draw the, the cockpit, the area where the driver sits. Okay, so, right. Let's see, I think we're gonna start with a diagonal line coming halfway up this diagonal line here. We're gonna do another diagonal line going exactly the opposite direction, like that, okay? To about there, so it goes to about the same height as here. Then we're gonna turn along, and we're gonna go in a tiny little straight line to about there. 
Then we're gonna head back down towards the main body of the car. We're gonna stop about that far away. We're gonna come along again. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head back down to the car like that. And now we need to draw a really cool thing on top of this area here. And this thing is called the roll hoop, okay? But it looks like a sort of the jet of an aeroplane or something. So what it, what, this is how it looks. It's sort of got a nice sort of curvy bottom like that, which sits on top of that shape that we just drew. And it's gonna come around in another curve and we're gonna go and join up with the other end, but we're sort of gonna keep everything nice and curvy like that. So can you see what I mean? It looks a bit like the jet on an aeroplane, doesn't it? Okay, so the the pilot, not the pilot, is it? It's the driver, is going to sit in this area here, but he needs something to protect him. He or she needs something to protect him as he's driving around this track. So they've got this thing, it's called a halo, and it sort of sits over the top of the driver, and just in case there's a crash or anything, it just acts as some protection for our driver. So what we need to do is from about here, we're just going to draw a nice curved line that comes just under the roll hoop there, okay? And then we're going to do another one exactly the same just underneath and try and follow the same shape around. And that is gonna be the halo, which is this safety device to protect our driver. And in a second, we're gonna draw up the head of our driver in the nice sort of crash helmet thing. But before we do that, we need to give him or her a wing mirror so they can see what's happening behind them on the track. So first of all, we are going to draw a sort of egg shape on its side, just like that, right in that corner of that shape there okay and then we're going to connect it to the body of the car just with a little line down that we're just going to color in a bit and look there's our little wing mirror for our racing car okay let's draw the driver shall we now they sit very low down in the car don't they so what we need to do is we're going to put our pen around about here so we so we're in between the wing mirror and this area here we're just going to draw a line that comes up goes around and goes back down there. And that is gonna be our driver's helmet. They need, a, they need a sort of a visor, they need an area they can see out of. So why don't we just draw a nice curvy shape like that on our driver's helmet. Should we add an eye? Should we add an eye for our driver? Let's do that. So we're gonna add in here, we're gonna draw a circle. Inside that circle, we're gonna draw another little circle over to the left-hand side that we're gonna color in. And that is gonna be our driver's eye. And then why don't you just color in around the eye so it looks like the visor is nice and dark. So there we go. And we're pretty much there with the outline of our car. Now I'm gonna add another thing, one of my favorite little tricks. I'm gonna add a bit of shadow around the wheels to make it look like our car is sitting on a track. Do you remember how to do that? What we do, just coming out to the side where the wheel touches the ground, we just add a little bit of sort of scribbliness like that on each side. And look, it looks like a bit of a bit of shadow where the car's touching the ground. Do that just out of both sides like that. And there we go. There is the outline of our Formula E racing car. Now then, it's time to color our racing car in. You know, we always do that, don't we? We do the outlines of our characters or whatever it is we're drawing and then we color it in. But do you know what? Today is a bit different. It's a bit special. Do you know why? My friends at Envision Virgin Racing, they've set up a little competition for you guys to enter. And it's a very exciting competition because it's all about designing a Formula E racing car. What they want you to do, they want you to, once you've drawn your outline like this, they want you to color it in and design the sort of the, the outside of your car in any way you like, as long as it is inspired by something that you love about our planet, okay? The reason they want to do that is because they, they really want to promote awareness about climate change. We all know about climate change, don't we? We all learn about it at school and how we need to battle against climate change. We're all actually, we're all in a race against climate change, aren't we? And that's why these guys at Formula E are making their racing cars that are much better for the environment because it really helps in the race against climate change. So what they want you to do is design your car in a way that promotes your love of our planet. 
Okay, so what could you do? Um, well, if you like, let's think, do you like animals? Do you like nature? Maybe you like cheetahs or tigers. Maybe you could design your racing car to look like a cheetah or a tiger. Or what about a shark? You could add some really cool shark teeth, couldn't you, at this end? And you could, you could color your whole car in a nice gray color, like a great white shark. Or what about something that's inspired just by the great outdoors? So maybe there's lots of trees all over your car's body, or maybe some leaves or some flowers. Or you could design it like the ocean. You could have a nice sort of ocean running all the way through. And this end, the bottom could be a beach and you could have palm trees. I don't know, anything you like, as long as it is inspired about by something that you love about the planet, okay? And now this is the really exciting bit, because do you, rem do you remember I said it's a competition? So once you have designed your picture, if you take a pic if you take a photo of your picture, like you normally do when you share the pictures with me using your draw with Rob hashtag, you take a photo of your picture and if you upload it to this website, now I am putting a website up on the screen now, hopefully down here somewhere, you should see a website. And if you go to that website, it will tell you how to upload your picture and enter the competition. And shall I tell you what the prize is? This is the bit I've been building to because this is the really exciting thing. The winning design, the design that the guys at Envision Virgin Racing like best, they're going to put it on an actual, real life Formula E racing car. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine your drawing of a shark or a cheetah or an ocean, whatever it is you choose to, you choose to do, if they choose it as the winning design, they're going to put it onto an actual racing car. <gasps> You get to see it on an actual racing car. Isn't that the most amazing thing? But that's not all because you will also win two tickets to a Formula E race meeting at some point, probably next year, I should think, 2021. You, two of you will be able to go along to see an actual Formula Formula E race. And not only that, you're gonna get a personalized message from one of the Formula E drivers whose name is Sam Bird. He's gonna actually send you a personalized message. So I think you will agree that that is a pretty amazing prize don't you think so as i said if you go to that website i'll put the website up again here again there it is the website i hope i'm able to do that i've got to work out how to do that in a minute but i think i'm going to be able to do it um if you go to that website it'll tell you how to enter i think you have one month to enter the competition from today so the closing date i think is going to be the first of june 2020 so you really want to make sure your drawing is really really good okay so that you get the best chance to see your design in the racing car and win those tickets and everything like that okay so shall i color in my car for you today i think i've got a nice idea of what i'm going to do as a little example but i want you to go away and color yours in really think about what you do remember it has to be something that you love about our planet and um in the meantime i am going to go into my regular super speed mode to color in my drawing so i'll see you in a minute or two okay so here we go three two one Let's go. Okay, so there is my final design for my car. So I've drawn some nice grass down here in a lovely blue sky with a few white fluffy clouds. I've done some rainbow um, spokes inside my tires and my wheels. I've done a rainbow cockpit here. And I've even done a little sort of green helmet with a nice little stripe design. Can you see I've added a few little lines and bits and pieces here and there just to add some extra detail, a few dots and spots and rivets and things like that. And I've numbered my car, 72 is my lucky number, so I've put some nice number 72s all over my car to make it look a bit more like a proper racing car. So what do you think? Do you like it? I can't wait to see what you guys do. I want, I, apart from anything else, I just want to see how you are inspired by our planet and I want to see how that is reflected in your artworks. So remember, what I want you to do, as per normal, I want you to get somebody to take a picture of your drawing and I want you to post it on whatever social media you're watching this on um, using the hashtag draw with Rob. But I also want you to send your pictures to this website address here. If you go to this website, it'll tell you how to do it all. And I want you to enter the fantastic competition with Envision Virgin Racing. Let's see if you can win that amazing prize. Fingers crossed, you guys. Now listen, I hope you've had a lovely time. 
Before I go, would you like to see a picture of one of the actual real life racing cars that your design might appear on? That might be a nice thing to do, mightn't it? Shall I show you one? I've got, I've got one over here, actually. Let's see if I can get this to work. Look. <gasps> wow. These things are pretty cool, aren't they? So can you imagine that with your lovely design on it? That would be something to see, wouldn't it? I definitely, definitely think so. So yes, as I was saying, I just want to say thank you very much for joining in with me today, drawing this racing car, this Formula E racing car. Remember, enter at this address here. Take care of yourselves, and I'm going to see you very soon for another Draw With Rob.